Uh, yes, it is. This documentary is called Natalie Wood, What Remains Behind. And for the first time, Wood's daughter, Natasha Gregson Wagner, is speaking out about her mother's death near Catalina Island back in 81. Natasha and director Lawrence uh, Buzero join us live to talk about what to expect from this film. Thank you both, A, for giving us something new to watch because I'm at the end of the internet, quite honestly. Uh, but <laughs> Natalie, what a fascinating life. Too short, she was taken from us. But, I mean, she was into so many different things. She was such a great actress. I, I always thought, as I, as I grew up, because Natalie, where you and I, Natasha, you and I are about the same age, I always imagined what she would have done next because she was on a path. I know she wanted to direct all these many things and stuff. Where do you think your mom would have, would have been these days? Oh, my gosh. I think she would have been doing so much like you said I think she would be directing producing I think she would be acting with you know pursuing directors like Quentin Tarantino and Steven Spielberg and uh, Paul Thomas Anderson I, I think she would have probably written her own book uh, I think the sky's the limit I think she would have you know been on a series for HBO or Netflix I mean she was constantly pushing the boundaries stretching herself wanting to grow wanting to learn yeah, I think, it, you know, there's so many like avenues the for actress for generation, mm -hmm. you know? No, I'm so sorry. I was going to say, you know, unlike many actors of her generation, she was not afraid to reinvent herself, you know, and to, to try to be relevant to new generations. So she was very unique that way. Yeah, I feel like there's so many different avenues now for creativity that I, it would have been fascinating to see what she could have done with all this. Uh, also, I was I was struck by the way you guys put this together. It's it's less Dateline and more of a celebration of life. Was that the whole idea behind this? Oh, for sure. I mean, we didn't want to do an investigative reportage kind of thing, you know. We, we really wanted to make a film, something with cinematic value and something that uh, was not predictable. You know, we uh, purposely did not do a chronological approach. Um, we really came from a thematic approach and really embraced the passion, you know, and the emotion um, where to me, you know, the lines were very blurred as I was filming between, oh, is this a movie or a documentary? I, I, just, I just felt, you know, we were telling a story in the most unconventional way. And so I really hope that viewers will really embrace this journey and, and um, follow the story um, as they would a movie almost. And you guys don't dance around, you know, her end uh, and everything in 81 and everything. And, I, and you kind of hit that right off the top. Uh, and 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 go through that, but then it, it really is joyous to watch all this footage. Where did you guys find all this, Natasha? Where, do you guys did the family have all this, or where, where was this all located? Yeah, well, my mom was a was a great collector and saver of letters, and my father was constantly photographing us and videotaping us and stuff. So. We have a we have a large um, archival unit in Los Angeles, and and that's where all the all the gold was. It really is gold. Thank you very much for putting this together. I can't wait for people to see this. It really turned out great. It, it really did. Thank you, Cody. Thank you. Thank bye, you, everybody. Bye. Fantastic. We're thrilled. Bye bye. All right, back to you guys.